The truck crane that we built a few years back uh, sits on this rest right here. And this rest was one of the last things that we built. The weather had turned and we never got a chance to paint it. And then over the years, it's one of those things where I tell myself, well, I'll take that off in the springtime and we'll paint it. Well, now I've found myself in the dead of winter and I'm going to take it off and paint it anyhow. But we need to remove the rust. And a traditional way to remove the rust would just be able to take a grinder to it uh, or maybe some sandpaper or files or however you would traditionally remove the rust. But we're going to do some rust electricity. Trellises. So this process is actually pretty simple. You're basically going to need something to hold some water. In this case, we're going to use a bucket. You're going to need some sacrificial metal. And what I mean by sacrificial metal is the metal we're going to be using for this, you need something that you're willing to throw away because it'll rust this piece up really bad. However, the part that we're de-resting is going to be rust-free. So there is some sacrifices to this. Luckily for me, I found some metal in the dumpster a while back and it's all bent up and I really can't use it for anything. So perfect for this scenario. You're also going to need some washing soda. You can find this basically in any supermarket in the laundry detergent aisle. And a lot of people say use about a half a cup to a cup per five gallons. I've always just used a rattle can paint lid, so that's probably about a cup. So we dump that in a solution. It'll kind of mix itself up once we start this process. You're also going to need some type of voltage or input. And in the past, I've used car batteries. They work just fine. Uh, I've also done this setup here where you're using the battery and the battery charger is also tied to the battery at the same time. The reason being is you will run your battery down relatively quickly with this setup and the battery charger will keep it topped off. Now, some people use a battery charger only and you can do that if you have a dummy battery charger. But a lot of today's battery chargers are smart and they'll basically think that there is a problem with your battery once you clip them onto the leads that are going into this bucket and they'll shut themselves down. But if you do take it into a battery, like we're doing here, then take your battery leads onto the bucket and connect it up as I'm going to show you in a little bit, they work just fine. Now, a while back, I was in another big box store and I found a really good deal on these booster cables. Now, these are 10 gauge. So not much of a booster cable, I guess, unless you're going to jump your moped. But they were literally $2. And I thought, you know, for $2, like, I can't buy clamps and wire for $2. And I can use 10 gauge for other things maybe later in the future. But today, we're going to use this as our main wires to de-rust our, our bracket. So now I have everything hooked up. And basically what I did is I took the positive connection. This is very important. The positive connection goes on the sacrificial parts. The part you want to keep takes the negative connection. So anything that you're de-resting takes the negative. Red is kind of a, oh my gosh, it's a red light type color. Remember that goes on the part that's going to get ruined. And basically turn everything on. You're going to get some bubbling coming out of the, out of the solution. Let that sit for a few hours and come back and check it. So I've let this sit in this bucket for overnight. Um, I checked it about maybe four or five hours after I did the last little clip of this video, and most of it had been de-rusted. Uh, there were just some pieces and parts that um, was a little more difficult to de-rust, so I just let it sit overnight. I do want to show you what some of these electrodes look like, and you can see they are rusted really, really bad now. And I actually cleaned this one up at one point through the middle of the night. The one on the other side I left so that you guys could see how bad they look when they get rusted. So hopefully, yes, you can see it is, it is just completely rusted. So that's why I call these sacrificial rods. You can take a wire wheel and clean them up and keep using them, but eventually you'll just have no metal left. Now we're going to take a look at this and see how much work needs to be done. And you can see right away that, you know, it's almost down to the metal on the top. Uh, this kind of stuck out of the bucket, so we might have to clean some of that up. Um, this could be a little cleaned. Uh, it was probably rusted the worst. It might just be more pitting than anything. In fact, if you take a brush and you clean these up, sometimes you'll be surprised that you might not need any work at all. But uh, we'll take it over the workbench and we'll take a better look at it and see what needs to be done before we paint it. So now that we have this under some light on the workbench, we can take a look at it and you can see that it actually cleaned up really good for a piece that was extremely rusty and weathered. There's some pitting and that's expected because it wasn't protected and a little bit of rust that is left on it's just some surface rust that might have actually formed after I wiped it down. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of acetone, wipe it down one more time and I'm not going to pay too much more attention to any rust that might be on there. Basically we're just going to spray it with some cold galvanizing compound. Now requirements of this is that there's no loose rust. You can paint right over rust with this stuff and it does a pretty good job and then I'll paint it white on top of that. Now there's a lot of people that recommend not doing that with this type of paint but I've done this in the past and it works just fine. As you can see in this picture the part actually turned out really well. Of course it makes the rest of the truck look rusty and now the rest of the truck needs cleaned up and painted but that's another project and another video. Take a look at some of my other videos you might find something you like and don't forget to like and subscribe.